Hello Elites and welcome back to Minecraft Elite vs. Wild. This is episode 153 and in this episode today, I am sitting here in this cute little office I made. It's a, a part of the, um, whatchamacallit building, the, uh, this, 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 this. Yeah, I forget what it's called. It's like the, uh, airstrip landing building. It's part of the, like, you know, our version of the RTD in my world. Um, so... We're going to go ahead and exit this. What we're doing this episode is we're going to go down here in the city. Um, we're going to go down here and build at the police department. That little tiny building right there. Let's fly down there. Wee and splat. So we're going to build right here. We're going to take down the first step is we're going to take down this little um, quad of squished up buildings. This little cluster here. And uh, let's go ahead and go inside the top floor. Let's go ahead and break the glass. Forget about the glass. It's okay. It's not going to be here. So we're going to place down TNT, and we're going to do this really cool thing I like to do called a quad explosion. The four TNT is set it off all at once, and it's a really huge explosion. Watch. Boom. The whole corner of that office building. Three floors almost. Kind of like two and a half a bit. But that's pretty freaking cool if a bit that much off, rather than just one TNT at a time, you know? There we go. Let's do another quad explosion on the top floor. Boom. And these little tiny small five-story buildings like, don't matter to us. They're not very important. They're just like little residential places that I never even really filled up or used. And uh, I kind of just walk by not mindlessly. Now we're going to make it a point of interest, which is going to be the police precinct. And I'm not, we're not talking about the police department. just like a little like small office with like one little guy. No, it's going to be a whole precinct. Like, you know, lots of cops. You know, um, because of the population in the city, we need lots of police. Let's do a double explosion there. Boom! Pretty big, but not big enough. Let's go over here. Um, let's go. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of breaking it up by myself by hand because um, to do controlled demolition in a city, you're only gonna blow up the parts that are not close to other buildings like that. See, we're not gonna blow up anything here. Right? Yeah, we're good. Um, but because we are close to this other building right here, we're gonna do a double explosion. Um, so we don't. There you go. So we don't get rid of the glass, because glass, I figured out, is very sensitive in Minecraft. It'll blow up very easily. Even if, like, you blow up TNT kind of, like, six, seven blocks away, it's still going to hit the glass and shatter it. So, it's very sensitive in Minecraft. That's kind of cool, but they got the third one. But, uh, there you go. Look, you can see the uh, second floor. This is the second, right? Yeah, that's the second floor. You can see the second floor. Uh, let's keep blowing it up. Let's do one more here, one more quad. And, oh, well, three times. Uh, three, th uh, the try. <laughs> try explosion. There you go. Oh, look, just perfect. We if we would have did the quad, it would have went bigger and deeper. We don't want to do that. So, uh, I went just to the ground level. And now we're going to blow up in between here, the smaller building. Um, I'm going to probably cut out the rest of this because all it's going to be is, boom, explosions. And me, you know, cutting out the rest of the building by hand. Because once it gets to the first floor or second floor, I'm going to kind of cut it out behind by hand so I don't get the sidewalk or anything. Because that'll be bad to blow up. It's going to also kind of damage the building, right? No, it actually did not. I don't see any missing glass. But it's going to be a long process. It's not just boom, 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 boom. Because then you're going to have TNT flying everywhere. No. We're going to do it very controlled. I'll be right back when this is flattened. And, um, you know, the foundation of the building is back to grass. So I'll be right back, okay? All right, so that's done, and what I'm doing here is I'm gonna push back this land one back because it's very close and up, like it's like touching this little like entrance to the subway station. So we want that to move back just a little bit, you know. And then we're also gonna do it to this side here because if we build the next building that's gonna be on this plot, what it's gonna do actually is be in the way, or it's actually gonna touch one of the rail lines. So let me show you. So now that it's like this, um, the original one would like butt up right against this right here and um it would be really close to this if the building was taller now that we're one away it's gonna have a gap in between so it'll be you know not touching and ugly you know so that's good we want it to be like that we don't want it all smushed up against each other just yet because in the far future we're gonna build a lot like buildings are gonna have to like march together so <laughs> a lot so what we're gonna do here is also if this building builds up this high it's gonna be in the way of this like little landing strip on this tower so we're going to remove it. That's what we're going to do. Remove it like you remove wisdom teeth from a mouth. Because it's kind of a piece we really don't need anymore. If, there's, if it's the year 2087 in my world, there's probably going to be flying cars. So, uh, Because of Dr. Crimson's invention is the floating uh, devices. So there might be floating cars. So we really don't need airplanes anymore. Stuff like that. That's kind of, that's kind of obsolete, you know? 
Um, just like sidewalks. You really don't need sidewalks anymore if there's going to be lots of bridges between buildings. So, all right, we're going to come down here now that that's gone. We're going to keep those pieces for, like, historic. Uh, histor history, stuff like that. Like this building here, these little thingies that come off of it used to be a landing strip long time ago for old blimps and airplanes. And now, modern day, we don't need that anymore because, yeah, see, it's gonna. Perfect. It's not gonna hit the um, landing strip. So now, what we're gonna do is we're going to come down here. And the way I wanna build this building, I thought, is uh, let's see, let's grab all the blocks for it first. So we're gonna grab stone brick, um, glass panes. And, uh, let's see, Sea Lantern, go, and then we're gonna go up here, and it has quartz blocks inside, so we're gonna grab quartz blocks, where are those at? Where are you at? There you are. Uh, we're gonna grab the quartz blocks, and then the, uh, lapis for, you know, the blue. Um, the blue to market as police, because I guess that's what people market as nowadays. Blue, you know? Um, I'm gonna go up here, and I'm gonna go, we're gonna build at least... Um, the first maybe like three, five floors on camera really, really quick, or at least just the infrastructure for it. And then I'll cut to where we have a lot of it done and, well, some of it done. Just so you can kind of see like what it'll look like, uh, when it's complete. We'll build like the whole skeleton of it so it can be like, wow. And then all I'll need to do off camera is, you know, glass, floors, lights, and, um, maybe the elevator, yeah. Also elevator. And yeah, I'm imagining a really cool building. Like these are going to bridge together right here. And then, um, let me see, go up here. We're going to try to copy the design of the other building, so it looks like it should be paired up with it. Not just like two random buildings paired together, no. We're going to make this like the sister tower of it, so I'm going to go ahead and go over here, build this one up, and then this, and yeah, it's a lot of design. i got to make up my own design too, so after it goes one block wide, this one goes two wide in the middle, okay. So... <clears throat> We need to find a center point, which is going to be probably here. Let's see. Go up about two more. So that's, there you go. And then the other side, so about one more. Another one. And that's not, that's actually off center. So let's see if we can do like a, a two wide window and a two wide window. Okay, that's going to be three two wide windows. Okay, not bad. I like that. And um, on the old tower over here, it kind of has like interchanging windows. So like every other floor is different design. So I, I really don't like that for the windows. That's too. That takes too long. First of all, that takes forever. It was a five-story building, so I was like, eh, it'll be fast. But because it's gonna be like, <laughs> we're gonna extend it to like, uh, twenty-seven floors or something like that. Um, it's gonna be a lot of work, and I don't. It's also glass panes, which is a quote-unquote a pain in the ass. Um, because panes in Minecraft are not fun at all. They're not fun to build with. So. But they're really pretty when you're done with them, so look. Okay, now we're going to add the little lapis. Uh, first, sea lantern. We're going to put sea lantern for the flooring. Uh, the old building has uh, glowstone because, say, it was built in the year 1941 or so something like that. Something old. <laughs> Some old year that no one remembers because they weren't born then. Um, but we're going to make this 2087, so we're going to put sea lanterns. A nice, more energy efficient light that lasts longer and doesn't ever go out. Basically, there we go, and then the floor is going to be this, and I'm going to go across with that. Um, I'll be right back where this is filled in, because that's going to take a second. Okay, we are back, and I finished most of the glass, because, you know, I, you don't want to watch that. It's, it's miserable. I keep misplacing, and I kept breaking blocks that I wasn't supposed to be, so, ugh. Um, now, so this this part of the thing is finished, the first floor. Let's go ahead and make this into golden tra uh, golden pressure plates. Yeah, golden pressure plates. Because it is the future, and gold is way more abundant, much cheaper now. Because it's, uh, you know, photo flashed and recreated over and over again, like burgers. <laughs> burgers already made like that in the year 2016. <laughs> so, um, let's go ahead and change the glass down here to sea lanterns to make it more energy efficient and modern. Change them from LED bronze to, like, LED gold, you know? Change them. So, let's go ahead and keep changing this pretty easy since this building is really small. This part of the tower is really small, but the other one's going to be huge. Uh, now that's a... It was three little buildings on that plot. That's enough space, and each of them had enough space just for one person to live in, you know? Alright, let's do um, some doors here because this building is so old, it only had one door on one side. <laughs> it needs multiple entrances, so go ahead and destroy that and put in 
some glass blocks, not glass panes, because glass panes with doors are ugly as hell. It doesn't work. There you go. And go across. And then, uh, in a sec, I will cut to, well, I'll cut the clip and I will <laughs> work off camera to build so much freaking part of this building. And, uh, it'll be done when we come back, okay, guys? So, <laughs> this is going to be a lot of work, so... I will be back. Uh, it'll be really, really cool, though. I, I trust me. So, be right back. Okay, we are done with all that goddamn building. Oh my lord, it's like in that ten hours later. No, not really, but like still, this is what it looks like. That right there. It's not done, of course, but I left the skeleton of the building basically. Um. So this is what it looks like. Let's go ahead and walk across this floating monorail. So you know you're taking it. And say this is your stop right here. This is what the building looks like. It's really cool. It has like little spaces for flying cars to land for the flying police cars. And that's what it looks like. It's so freaking awesome, dude. Wow, I love the angle. So like it's little spaces in between the bridges. Those are the bridges that lead to the other tower. And um, yeah, from uh, it's a vertical windows from the fifth floor up. From the fifth floor down, it's going to be in a, whatever pattern it was before. But it looks so sick. I freaking love it. I came up with a different idea. Before, it was just going to be, like, one giant big building. No bridges. No, like, bridges. And open spaces for, like, flying cars to land for the flying um, police cars. But we changed the idea. So, and then we didn't, we were going to move the subway originally to, like, over here and then make it exit here. But no, instead I put the bridge here so that way, you know, we don't have to disturb any of the things on the ground. Because it has a bridge. So we have the bridge area and, you know, flying cars can fly through here. And that's when they start taking off and going, wee, wee, wee. <laughs> Wee woo, <laughs> and then freaking oh my lord the police. Um, so yeah, look, and then this bridge area—it's not bothered at all. It would have been bothered if we still had it, but we destroyed it. The other three though, we can use still because there's no, there's not going to be any buildings exactly where they, uh, where they are in the airspace. You know, there's not going to be any buildings extended to this height or built in this area. It's, it's perfect. Um, so yeah. And off camera, I will finish the glass, the floors, and lights, which will be a lot of crap. Since so it's basically technically two buildings. And we're going to make like, a cool little top area there, like a little like, pointing. I don't know what design we could use. We could use like point on the top of the tower, or like a pyramid, or like a slant, something. Something with the uh, roof design. Um, that's that. I love how it looks from different angles, guys. Anyways, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe today if you haven't. I hope you did. Um, I'll see you in the next video that I create. So goodbye, elites. Goodbye.